नमस्ते एवरीबडी दिस इज चैप्टर टू न्यूट्रिशन इन लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम एनिमल्स एंड मैन स्टैंडर्ड सेवन साइंस लेट्स सॉल्व द एक्सरसाइज ऑफ दिस चैप्टर फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स द डाइजेशन ऑफ फूड इन द ह्यूमन स्टार्ट इन द माउथ एंड इज कंप्लीट इन द स्मॉल इंटेस्टाइन एच सी एल दैट इज हाइड्रोक्लोरिक एसिड प्रेजेंट इन द स्टोमक किल्स बैक्टीरिया The largest gland in the human body is liver. Partially digested food that is chewed chewed again by grass eating animals is called the cud. Amoeba uses pseudopodia for locomotion and for capturing its food. Move to the match the following: gall bladder that is bile juice, protein, amino acids, intestinal wall that is absorption. Its function is absorption of food. Rumen. cow cytopodia is called false feet of amoeba tick the correct option organisms that can synthesize their own food are called autotrophs like plants cow is an heterotroph third animals that can eat both plant materials and animals are called omnivores fourth which one of these is is not a part of alimentary canal that is liver bile juice is released by liver let's do the question answer the animals uh, answer the following questions in brief define the following terms holozoic nutrition Answer this is a mode of nutrition in which organisms like amoeba and human beings eat food that may be in solid or liquid state this food is taken into the body or eaten and then it is broken down digested to provide the required nutrition here should be nutrition to the body alimentary canal this is required nutrition to the body and then alimentary canal alimentary canal is the long muscular tube in the human body through which food passes after its ingestion the alimentary canal is constitute the alimentary can constitute buccal cavity food pipe stomach small intestine large intestine rectum and anus give the meaning of the term terms assimilation answer the absorbed food is utilized by the body for growth and formation of body parts this process is known as assimilation rumination the ruminants bring back to the mouth the partially digested cellulose of the plant materials called cud the process of chewing cud thoroughly is called rumination Question number three: Name the organs that make up the human alimentary canal. Answer: The organs that make up human alimentary canals are mouth and buccal cavity, food mouth or buccal cavity, food pipe or oesophagus, stomach, small intestine, large intestine, and anus. Question number four: State two differences between milk teeth and, and permanent teeth. Two differences between milk teeth and permanent teeth are milk teeth. they start appearing above the gum line when a baby is 6 or 7 months old second they are 20 in numbers permanent teeth teeth they start appearing when a child is around the age of 6 years they are 32 in numbers question number 5 name the four types of teeth in human mouth answer name the four types of teeth in human mouth the four types of teeth in human mouth are incisors canines premolars and molars question number 6 state the function of a uh, incisor teeth premolar teeth incisor teeth incisors are used for cutting the food and premolars are used for grinding the food state the role of acid in the human stomach the role of acid in the stomach is to kill the bacteria and also provide the acidic medium needed for the digestion of the food by the enzymes in the stomach question number 8 state the function of a bile juice pancreatic juice in the human digestive system 
the bile juice plays an important role in digestion of the fats bile juice is used for digestion of fats whereas pancreatic juice acts as acts on carbohydrates proteins and fats and break them into simpler forms now answer the following question this is long answer draw a neat level diagram of the human digestive system human digestive system this has been taken directly from the book the exact picture is given in the book when you level it just count how many leveling are there in digestive system this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 justify the following statements crow is an omnivore crow is an omnivore because it feeds on both plants and animals material b it is said that the mode of nutrition in human beings and amoeba is quite similar nutrition in hum, uh, human beings and amoeba is quite similar that is holozoic mode of nutrition as they eat food that may be in solid or in liquid form this food is taken into the body or eaten and then it is broken down digested to provide the re- required nutrition digested to provide the required nutrition to the body give reasons for the following ingestion of food is difficult without teeth ingestion of food is difficult without teeth because it breaks down the food into smaller pieces which are easy to swallow B if we chew rice or bread for a few minutes it starts tasting sweet answer if we chew chew rice or bread for a few minutes it starts tasting sweet because saliva present in our mouth break down starch into sugar third bacteria are present in the cecum of ruminants so bacteria present in the cecum help in the digestion of the cellulose of the food now this is explain how digestive food gets absorbed into the blood answer the inner wall of the small intestine absorbs the digested food it has many finger like projections called villi the villi increases the increase the effective surface area for the absorption of digested food this absorbed food is passed to blood vessels present in the villi now question number 5 state in one two sentences each the various processes involved in nutrition in the ruminant animals the various processes involved in uh, nutrition in ruminant animals are first is the animals first swallow the food quickly and store it in their rumen the rumen has some microorganisms that help in partial digestion of the cellulose of the plant materials this food is now cud now the ruminants later bring this cut back to their mouth and chew it thoroughly this process is called rumination the thorough chewing of food during rumination helps to break down the rich cellulose content of the plant material now fourth ruminants also have a spacious bag like structure between their small intestine and the large intestine this is called cecum the bacteria present in the cecum help in further digestion of the cellulose of the food now explain the ingestion of food in amoeba through diagram this is the diagram from the book directly when amoeba comes and now this is the explanation when amoeba comes in contact with food it produces pseudopodia around the food particle as the cell membranes of the pseudopodia fuse the food gets trapped in a food vacuole digested juices are secreted into this vacuole to digest the food this is the way amoeba ingest food now value based question so you have to write the two values the bi- biology teacher who was also the coach of the school cricket team would often compare his team members with the different organs of their digestive system he would tell them to concentrate on their respective roles and to work as a as a team in a selfless and dedicated way this he would say would enable them to succeed in winning matches in the same way as the team of the organs of the digestive system succeeds in digesting and using the ingested food so state two of the values that the teacher wanted his student to have in them so let's move here 
the two values that teacher wanted his student to have in them are self selflessness and dutifulness and uh, answers to the 11 names that are part of the team that makes up the human digestive system are mouth or buccal cavity teeth and tongue salivary gland food pipe or esophagus stomach pancreas liver small intestine large intestine rectum and anus thank you hope it will help you